da, da. Da, da. So we're looking at your various articulators to do with your mouth and how you shape and form words. And the final articulator we're going to take a brief look at is right under your nose. We'll come to that in a few moments' time on today's episode of Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. On Twitter, I'm Tweeter Stewart, T-W-E-T-E-R-S-T-E-W-A-R-T. And this is the daily podcast course with everything from breathing to reading, inflection and projection, and how to write right and deal with mic fright, everything to help you get a better broadcast podcast and video voice. So, yeah, the final articulator you must have got it by now, is right under your nose. The lips, which mainly channel sound in its final moments before being heard by the world, whether it's the soft breeze of foo or woo or the caress of the sound of mmm or the buzz of or holding back a P for a split second before it explodes. All sorts of things that your lips can help you with when you're forming those different word sounds, which you probably didn't realise. So over the next few days, we're going to be looking at more sounds which are different and how they are created in your mouth. And the idea is, so you get to have an idea of the different things which are going on within your oral cavity. Yeah, we've spoken about the nasal cavity before, the oral cavity, the different things that your soft and hard palate are doing, or more specifically the soft palate. Your hard palate doesn't actually do an awful lot. At least you can't actually change that. But also what your lips are doing, your teeth are doing, and most importantly, what your tongue is is doing in various situations with various different word sounds. That, as Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>